Uh huh. Well, then everything should work out then. As long as I get what I need. And soon. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Alice and, and Ray, they got away. They got away. Well, yeah. Josh was not going to be very happy. No, he's going to be absolutely miserable because we made it happen together. Mm -hmm. What we're going to make happen now is get you to the hospital. No, no, no. I feel absolutely terrific. Because of the excitement of running around airports. Well, yeah, but things. aren't you excited too? Come on, we got the upper hand on Frank, and you know, it makes me really excited. We actually got to help somebody. Mm -hmm. No, we're going to help you. Come on. No, 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 no. I, I'm not going to that hospital. Not tonight. Don't, don't you can't. No, put I'm not. Here longer. Please, please, come, sit. One day I, uh... will not make a difference. You know what I want to do? All I want to do is sit and just talk to you, and maybe we can come up with some sort of plan, you know, to make sure that Joshua doesn't turn Port Charles into some crazy amusement park for vampires. That is our priority right now. You're my priority. That's what I know. We're... But this was fun. You have to admit, doing this crazy stuff. Ew, look what this cheap wig did to my hair. It pulled out a clump of my hair. I'm going to sue this company. It's not the wig. Well, yes, it is the wig. Look, it's stuck in there. It's no. stuck in the little. When we were sitting there before and I was holding you, I had. What? You what? <sighs> Same thing happened. My hair? Why didn't you tell me then? I'm telling you now. I... Then I want you to tell me now the truth. You really believe that something is seriously wrong with me? Do you? You do? Joshua. Here for inspection, sir. What do you think? Little Jack. Dark. Stylish. That's expensive. Yes, it is. I think the man running your club should be dressed to kill. Don't Indeed, you think? he should. I told you I was the guy, sir. So just sit back, watch, relax, and watch me work my magic. You won't be sorry. I hope not. I don't handle disappointment very well, Jack. You won't be sorry. Well, well. If it's not the Toulouse, but the trick of Port Charles. How are you feeling? Your little supplement make you feel any better? Oh, I'm feeling much better. Calmer. It's such a nice respite to just let the world go by. A little thanks to our new benefactor. How's the new masterpiece coming along? It's already at your villa. It's finished already? Well, once I began, it just began to flow. It'll be waiting for you when you get home. Hope you like it. I certainly like your efficiency. I'll hold my review until I see it. Ah, the lovely Elizabeth. How are you this evening? How do you think I am? You've abducted my daughter. You plan on holding her It hostage. was a rhetorical question. Do me a favor and run off part of your nose before Allison gets here. I don't want you looking all ashen on the wedding album. <laughs> oh, you know what? There's no need. You just brought a nice flush to those chiseled cheeks. Suppressed fury becomes you, madam. Joshua. And here comes Franklin, my trusted right-hand man, with my fiancé on his arm. I'm afraid I've got bad news. I don't want to hear it. They got away. I don't want to. That's not what I want to hear. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Frank. You made my night. Sit down, Elizabeth. Oh, shut up. I'm not under your hold, Joshua. I've had it with answering to you and all of your yes men. I'll never be doing that again. Oh, hello. Hi. Well, you look like you would appreciate and deserve some fabulous company this evening. Well, someone's in a good mood. Not a good mood. I'm in a great mood. I'm in a, I'm in a spectacular mood. How are you? How are you tonight? I'm even better now that you sat down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a flatterer. Oh, I'm just getting started. Oh, well, well then, go ahead, please. Don't let me stop you. What kind of an incompetent fool are you? They scammed me, Joshua. Well, somehow they knew that oh, I... Oh, would... enough! I'm tired of your inefficiency. They slipped through your fingers. Damn you. You're sorry. Not half as sorry as you'll be by the time I'm finished with you inept, stupid brains. Oh. 
Looks like someone's not having a good night. your tongue you you look surprised how's your neck much better thank you seems your your bark is bigger than your bite let me take care of him joshua now you shut up you leave here and i'll deal with you later go nice management skills josh he knows his place unlike you this is my place do you want to step outside we have some catching up to do Sounds like fun. Show the way. Well, I shall do everything on my power to keep it that way. Fun. Karen, hey. I was hoping to catch you getting off work. Catch me? Yeah, Karen, come on, don't go. Look, I know what you're thinking. I, I don't want to scare you. I just... I really need to talk to someone, please. Someone I can trust. Why? What happened? I screwed up again, Karen. This, this time I really screwed up. I noticed you were sketching earlier. You did, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I... Uh, and I prefer to know someone a little better before I feel comfortable enough to show them my work. Okay. I understand that. So, what would you suggest we do to get to know each other better? I suggest we start by you letting me buy you a drink. You know, I never say no to life, Kevin. Or to a vodka martini with lots and lots of olives. Waitress. Nice. And very nice. Reese. Hey. So, when do I get my hands on a nice chunk of profits here? Well, we're gonna start by keeping our voices down, taking it slow. Oh. And before long, we're gonna get all we need from here. Yeah. That sounds like a really good idea. You know what I think? Mm. I think you taste as good as you look. Mm. <laughs> Ramsey. Hey, Jamal, what can I get you, man? Can you give me a straight answer, dude? What are you doing here? Are you nuts? What's it look like? I'm working. <laughs> For a free show like Joshua Temple, you really are out of your mind. Well, you pulled it off. I can't count how many times you asked me to open a nightclub. Same amount of time to call me a moron for even thinking about it. Is that me who said that? Well, here you are anyway. It's just a beginning. And you? How are you faring? I gotta hand it to you. Poisoning Olivia's fangs so she couldn't turn me back, that's very clever. It's always nice to be appreciated. Well, that's more than I thought you were capable of. Well, you just cut to it. What is it that you want? You obviously want something. Otherwise, you just stay safe and sound underneath your rock. And I, as you see, have a business to run. And here I am, wasting your time. You're right. I came here for a reason. Which is? Do something I never thought I'd do. And that would be? To strike a deal with you. Hang on to your shorts, my old friend. We're about to rekindle our partnership. So I'm, uh, I, I'm losing a little hair, that's You all. say you want to hear everything and then you won't let me finish. What am I supposed to do? Well, I do want to hear everything if it... it it's not important, because I, I have hair that's in my brush. Every day, I find hairs in my brush. It's normal that I know that, but this is some, And my this body is not... feels good. I feel fine. And while it feels and good, we need to go to the hospital. Listen to me. I feel even better, because we helped Rafe and Allison. Don't you see? Helping them gave me all this energy, because I needed to feel useful. Okay, I understand. And that. I know. when Rafe gets back, I'm feeling so good, I might be able to slay a few vampires. Why can't you understand how worried I am about you? Why? I can't. And I love you worrying about me so much. 
But don't don't you really believe deep down I would tell you if if I felt that badly I would. I don't know if you would or not. I don't oh, wait, know. Wait, wait, aren't you the guy that always says listen to your own body that you know doctors don't know everything? I'm the guy telling you to listen to me to get some tests done. I'm a doctor. I, so what do you think I'm doing? Avoiding having those tests? Well, I'm not. And and have you ever known me to do anything that would jeopardize my health at all? No, not really. No. But, but... Okay, okay. I... I know my body, and I know what I need. And what I need right now, what I crave right now, is you. <laughs> Come on. No. There's just nothing I'd rather do, but you... But we... what? But you have some place to go. I mean, you have something else you'd rather do than make love to me. That's not fair. I think it is. if I ever needed you more than I do right now. All right, Frank, I'm listening. This choice I made, this, this new lifestyle. It's more than a lifestyle. You're right, and I'm not sure what I got myself into this time. I'm not so sure I made the right call. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. Look, Karen, being a vampire... No, 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 I know, I know. You actually thought you might like it. It's okay, Frank. In a weird kind of way, I do understand. No, you don't. No, no, shh, shh, shh. You're finally on your way to coming around. And you can fight this. Ian is. You know, he's working on something. Come on, let's go talk no, to him. No, Karen. You're wrong. I am not sorry about what I am. Being a vampire? I'm just having trouble adjusting. That's all. I keep making mistakes. Like today, I, I, I messed up and Joshua was all over me. Not that wait, I wait, wait a minute here. What are you saying? Th that you want my shoulder because you had a bad day on the job? It was more than just a bad day okay, on the so job. Okay, so what do you want me to do, Frank? Take your hand and go, oh, there, there. Everything will be fine. I'm sure you'll grow up one day to be a wonderful vampire. Oh, my God, Frank. You're even sicker than I ever dreamed you could be. So I've been in Port Charles for how long? And just now we're finding out how much we have in common? Bad luck, I guess. Mm. That is my middle name. I was talking about my bad luck. <laughs> you are really charming. Well, that's what sitting next to a beautiful, captivating woman will do. Oh, you think so? Yes, I do. Especially the way the light hits you right now and the way you're tilting your head. I think you're about the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I would say you're getting to that point of knowing me well enough to... Show you my work? I'm not an art critic. I just... I would just love to see it. You were drawing me? That's really beautiful. It's not half as beautiful as the model. So come on, big boy. I'm waiting for an answer. Has anyone ever told you that you're boring? <sighs> yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, it's all right, Reese, are you? No, it's all right. When you're ready, Jack, you know it's funny. You know she's right. Come on, dude, I'm waiting. What are you, what are you doing here? Come on, man, I'm running this place. It's a good job, all right? Pays well, it's a good opportunity. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all good, all right? Listen, man, I'm the one in charge here. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have people lined up around the corner. This is gonna do <sighs> awesome for your business, Look, man. Jack, that's the last thing that I need in my shop are these kind of customers. Business is business. Yeah, and blood sucking is blood sucking. Come on, dude. Think about what you're getting yourself into. I'm not into. getting into anything. Look, Joshua's world is a real ugly place. You've been there. 
Jack, we went through that together. What happens when you get turned again? I'm not gonna get turned again. I'm working as an independent contractor. We agree oh, to that. Come on, Can you believe him? All I'm doing is cutting checks with the winning team. There's not gonna be anything left to cut from, Jack. Better grab a piece while you can. Hey, look around, Jamal. This is the new Port Charles. You want to make a deal. Oh, did that get your attention? I'm assuming this has to do with your precious Olivia and the sad predicament she finds herself in. I want that antidote. Assuming that there is one. You never create a poison by having an antidote. Just in case she got a chance to stick her fangs into you. You think you have it all worked out, don't you? You'd always have an escape plan. That much you learned from me. I'm trying to forget everything I ever learned from you. So much anger. That's why this whole poisoning thing with Olivia. I would guess it's making your personal mortal life a little less than perfect. You've had your fun. Now I want that antidote. And you're going to give it to me. What? Just like that? Just like that. You know why? Because I know what you want most in this world. I have everything that I want. Except for maybe... Allison? I, uh... I heard she gave you the slip. I... I still have my contacts. So what's the deal? Well... The deal... Let's see. You give me the antidote. And I deliver to you what you want most in the world. Allison Barrington. Yeah, yeah, it looks that way. Unless you want no, to... No, 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 no. Don't even try it, dude. Look, all I gotta say is that you better watch your back. Because I'm not doing it no more. Not after today. Tomorrow. He really got to you, didn't he? No. No. no trust me. Yeah, well, it seems to me he's got a really bad case of morals, don't you think? Well, don't worry. It's not contagious. <laughs> I'm really serious. I mean, I have frequented numerous museums throughout the world, and that is really, really good. It's not my best work. I find that hard to believe. Would you like to come over to my studio and have a look? Hmm. A private showing, alone with the artists. It's hard to resist. You know, you've gotten into a real nasty habit of putting me down every time we talk. Tough. Sure. Let go of me. Take your hands off of me, you understand? I was just trying to... I don't like you, and I don't like your low vampire friends. So let's pretend from now on that we're strangers. Karen, Go find yeah. one of your own and pour your heart out to her. And then afterwards, take a bite from her. Because that's what you really want, isn't it? Uh, you, you think it's that easy, huh? You think you could just turn around and walk away like... Sorry. No, it's okay. Do you know where I can find a club called Elixir? I'm not even sure if I'm in the right part of town. Oh, you are. Don't worry. You're right where you should be. To how, we how do I think I'll be able to bring Allison to you? Does it really matter how I do it? The thing is, I deliver Allison to you. You give me the antidote for Olivia. It's your call. What do you want to do? You bring me Allison Barrington. Willing and able to be my bride. Can we have a deal?
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Desire. On the next Port Charles. I promised Joshua I'd deliver house until. I swear it's whatever means we can be together. It's the only way. Let's do it. Joshua Temple has very big plans for Port Charles. Recovery room is just a very small step. Just wait until our wedding night. your Emmy night right. Tune into the only place that takes you to the red carpet. It's SoapNet's live daytime Emmy preview show, hosted by Fanola Hughes and Walt Willie. Friday, May 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern. SoapNet, no one gets you closer.